Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I'm at Kroger. You'll see people walking behind me. I just came out of the grocery store and I want to share a few things with you. I figured this week I'm going to talk about some savings things that I've been doing because we know how much groceries cost, right? And we know how much all the things are these days. It's expensive. I just went into Kroger and spent $83.85 and literally enough for like two meals. Okay, maybe that's dramatic. I bought ground beef uh, to make a meatloaf and some cauliflower. So back to savings. Who cares what I'm eating for dinner? Um, you know, I eat keto. I try to stay on plan as best I can. It's expensive. Buying clean, healthy food is expensive. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. We know this. Um, and buying processed food is really not an option for me. Like, I can't, I can't eat mac and cheese as much as I want to. I can't. So, and those are always the things that are on sale. I have to do some budgetary things to make sure that I have the funds available to buy the food that I need to eat to keep my body healthy. So, a few things I do is I watch for sales. I stock up when I can. I have a chest freezer. I have, and you've seen me break down some pork. I have a food saver, seal a meal thing. I do all the things I can do. But two things I do always is check Ibotta. I will put a picture somewhere on the screen. Um, this is an app. I'm sure you've all heard of it, but if you haven't, it is an app that gives you cash back for shopping. All you have to do is buy some items that are in the Ibotta app. If they're what you need to purchase, you scan them, check out at the grocery store, get home. I do it in the car so I don't forget. And you snap a picture of your receipt and you upload it and you get cash back. And with Ibotta, you can have it sent to a PayPal. Like I have it sent to PayPal, so it's not linked to my grocery, I mean to my bank account in any way. It goes to um, PayPal and then I send it to myself. So I'm getting cash back for the things that I buy. Anyway, um, what I would definitely say is do not chase the dollars by buying things that you normally wouldn't use like it takes a little it's exciting to want to scan items but if it's not a product that you're gonna eat or use just to get the money back I don't know but you can also pair it with coupons paper coupons digital coupons for your store whatever to get some savings so I have an example here I did two transactions because I got health and beauty stuff that my HSA through my, sorry, I know my heat's on, but it's 20 degrees, um, through my HSA will pay for. So I needed allergy medicine, which I take every single day. And I take Miralax once a week because of my diet, keeps things moving, you know, with a certain age in life. So the Miralax was $28.99 but I got a $6 reward back for that. So I ended up paying, what, $21.99. And it's a 30 dose, so it will last me a very long time because I only take one dose a week. So that was a great savings for me. Plus my HSA paid for it pre-tax. So there's that. Then my Zyzol allergy medicine, which is one of the more expensive ones because it's the newer one on the market, but it is something that works for me because allergies. Um, was regularly $36.99 and that's for 80 tablets so that's almost a 90 day supply but they had it on sale $4 off and then I got $3.50 back from Ibotta so when I uploaded this receipt I was credited $9.50 back to my cash account what I do with my Ibotta is I, t I go all through the year, I collect it, collect it, and when I get to $100, I pull it out, technically $150, but um, I do it till I get $150, and that's the cash Christmas gifts I give to my little cousins, although I think I'm, I'm giving them a raise this Christmas because inflation, but I save the money in there. I would not keep a huge running total because at any time Ibotta can say, eh, we want that and they keep it for a myriad of reasons legit or not I don't really know I don't follow it that closely but I typically at about a hundred transfer it to my checking account I don't pay the fees to have it sent to me quickly so it takes a couple days and then I pull it out and put it in an envelope and that is Christmas so that's kind of what I do to save on my 
groceries or this was for medicine because that's what I bought then I got on the grocery side I drink fair life milk fair life is a lower carb lower sugar milk it's a more natural they don't put anything in it um, but it's expensive however it does have a longer shelf life so I did get two half gallons and it was four dollars and 79 cents per half gallon I use that for um, lattes for my coffee <laughs> I got egg life wraps and for each egg life wrap they were 479 but they're and they were on special save so I saved 60 cents per wrap so it's I saved a dollar 20 per package and then I got three dollars and ten cents back or three dollars ten cents was for any item at Kroger on the I bought it so I got three dollars back for my fair life wraps which I eat all the time I got some waters and I got some frozen vegetables. They were $1.69 for frozen cauliflower. And oh, I got a box of, you know, like the drink mixes, but it's the Cafe Bustello mixes. I got that for lattes on the go. Guys, you know I have a coffee problem, right? And then I got some liquid detergent because I needed liquid laundry detergent. And so that was $83.85. The other thing I will caution is Dollar Tree food at this point is convenient, but it's not always cheaper. And I have a perfect example. Um, Sunkissed tuna pouches are $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, but here at Kroger, they are a dollar. It's 25 cents, but it's a great source of protein. And if you have tuna, I'm putting my stuff away because we're getting ready to go to said Dollar Tree. Um, but it adds up, you know, savings here, savings there. And I will tell you, tuna, don't sleep on that. That is a high protein, low fat, low carb option. Add a little mayo to it, eat it dry, put it in something, but it's a great protein source. I typically will eat that on my Fairwise wraps. That's a good lunch option for me to take to the office. Although people don't always like tuna smell, but I don't put it in the microwave, okay? Okay, we're gonna go to the Dollar Tree. I need to get stuff for my video for this week, Wednesday's video, that I will probably be wearing this same sweatshirt because I'm recording both of these videos on Sunday. Tomorrow is President's Day, I think. Yeah, President's Day. I'm technically off work, but I have to go into the office for half a day with my management team and we're gonna go over some stuff, so. But we'll get to flex the time at another day. And then I'm gonna go home and I wanna put my fireplace on. It's right now it's 20 degrees outside. It's cold. Yeah. So that was my cost savings for the day. I'll come back here in a little bit, but Ibotta and Fetch are my two favorite. Oh, also, while you're at your grocery stores, do not forget to sign up for their card and use their gas savings. Every little penny helps. Like I need gas and um, I'm gonna go and punch in my coat. Actually, I'm using my brother's. <laughs> my brother that I help take care of that lives here doesn't drive, but he goes to Kroger all the time. So what he does is he uses his Kroger card and lets me use the gas discount. And I think last month, because he gets all of his medicine and stuff at Kroger, I think I saved a dollar a gallon on the whole tank of gas, which was fantastic. So, um, yeah you got to save what we can save nowadays. And I know I shop a lot. One thing I do want everybody to understand, the things that I buy and show on here is from a separate account. It's from a business account. So this YouTube channel, my Etsy store, all that is a business. I pay taxes. I just did my taxes um, with my tax accountant. That is all business related. And so I have a separate bank account, separate everything. So when I do shopping, and I'm gonna show you a haul. I mean, other than like groceries and stuff, but like for the Dollar Tree, if I buy on Timu, sometimes I buy on Amazon, all that comes out of a business account. That does not come out of my living expenses. That is business, separate. So I know it can be confusing when a lot of um, people on, in, on YouTube and stuff are showing all the things they bought and then they're telling you how to save money, but they're out shopping. Like that's confusing. I would be confused if I didn't know. But for me personally, and I can only speak for me, all the things that I buy and do is separate and honestly I donate 99% of it to people I work with, to family, to friends, people with children, people with arts and crafts. I, I 
donate a lot of the stuff that I get because I don't really have a need for all of that stuff, but I want to show you and I'm too nervous to do in-store videoing. I don't know, it makes me nervous. All right, I gotta roll. We're gonna go to Dollar Tree, buy some stuff so I can show you what I bought and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back from the store. I got everything put away and I made my meatloaf. So I put in my meatloaf ground beef. I do grated onion, Parmesan cheese, garlic, chopped parsley. That's the green stuff. So I'm heavy or half and half. I don't put bread in mine, but I put Parmesan cheese. So there's my meatloaf for dinner tonight. The sale on the meat was $5 a pound, but you had to buy a three pound minimum. And as a single person cooking, this is fine for me. I'll eat it for the next three days. I don't mind leftovers. If you don't like leftovers, but you want meatloaf, get those little tins that make the mini loaves and make yourself some of those and freeze them. So this is just same pan. There's less in this one, but it also had the air sucked out of it. I put it in my food saver. I'll write the date on, well, down here, and I'll put it in the freezer. And now when I want meatloaf another time, I would just pull this out and let it thaw in the refrigerator and then I'll bake it. So then I have two dinners out of one package of meat. So my, with my diet being mainly protein, I need the meat. I don't eat red meat a lot, but I do on occasion. And today is one of those days. You can get all different kinds of meatloaf. This is just how I make it. Oh, I put Worcestershire sauce in it. Worcestershire sauce as well. But it's just a way to save money and to think ahead because I'm a busy lady. All right, guys, that's everything. I hope you enjoy and definitely check out the description box if you don't already have the Ibotta or Fetch app. Um, you can sign up for it and you'll get a discount and I'll get, or you'll get some money. I'll get some money. We'll all get money. It'll be great. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.